In today's video, I will be showing you how to boost and improve the performance in Call of Duty Warzone on your PC or laptop. By following the methods in this video, we will hopefully be able to make you have no performance lag and also boost the frames per second that you are currently getting. Let's say you are getting 60 frames per second, but you want to get 100 frames per second, then by following the methods, we will hopefully be able to achieve that goal. And the first thing you need to do is just ensure your system is completely up to date. So that means making sure Windows 10 is up to date. To do this, all you need to do is open the start menu, type in update and click on check for updates. And you then need to click on check for updates again. And if it does find any updates, then you need to go ahead and install those Windows 10 updates. The next thing you need to do is also head on over to the manufacturer website for your graphics card and just download the latest drivers for your GPU. Once you have done all that, go ahead and launch the game and you will see a slight improvement in performance if there were any new updates available. So that is very quick and easy, but don't panic, there are still lots of other methods we can do. But before we go any further, don't forget to like this video if it did help you out, and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we have just hit 40,000 subscribers, and that is thanks to all of your support. If you could help us hit 50,000, that would be absolutely amazing. So the second thing we need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in power. You now need to click on edit power plan and we now need to click on power options and you then need to select ultimate performance. If you don't have this option then I will put a link to my website in the description below to any links that I do mention in this video and also if you didn't quite understand a method that I mentioned in this video you will be able to read them all on the website. So click on the link there will be a bit of code and you will then be able to install the ultimate performance plan to your Windows 10 PC. If you don't want to select this plan then go ahead and select high performance and that will still give your computer a massive boost making Warzone run a lot smoother. The next thing we want to do is right click on the desktop. You now need to click on display settings and we now need to scroll down and you need to click on graphics settings. We now need to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is actually a difficult setting because with Cold War, this can actually cause issues. So turn this option on and then see if your game is running smoother and better because it can actually help with performance. Or if you do notice a decrease in performance, then make sure you turn the option back off. But we need to go ahead and turn it on and you then need to click on browse. And you now need to browse for the location of your install for Call of Duty Warzone. If you're unsure where you've installed it, then you can always open up the start menu, type in Call of Duty, and you can then click on the arrow and go Open File Location. You can now right click and go Open File Location, and then copy the title bar, and then paste it into the title address bar up here, and then go Enter. And we can then click on modernwarfare.exe and go Add. And as you can see, it's now added the game to my hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. We then need to click on options and you now need to select high performance and go save. Once you have added the game, restart your PC and then launch Warzone and see if it helped with the performance. If you didn't notice much of an improvement by enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, don't worry because the next thing we want to do is open the start menu and you now need to type in game and you now need to click on game mode settings and you need to just make sure this option is turned on. This will optimize Windows to make games run a lot smoother so it really can help with performance. Also the next thing we want to do is just make sure you have closed down any programs you have running in the background when playing Call of Duty Warzone. For example if you have a web browser open and you have a music player open, this will have a real impact 
on the performance with your game. So just by closing down any background apps could really boost your FPS up by an extra 10 or 20, it really does depend on what you're running in the background. And also with a lot of antivirus programs and security software, you can actually enable a game mode. So when you launch Call of Duty Warzone, it will then go into a game mode and it will not have as much of an impact on the performance of your computer, allowing games to run a lot smoother. So depending on what security software you are using, I definitely recommend you check it out and see if there is a game mode option. If not, then you could always turn off real-time protection while you are playing Call of Duty. But just keep in mind, you are not protected in real time when you do this. So that is at your own risk, and I don't really recommend you do it, but then it could have a massive improvement on your performance. So it swings and roundabouts. Also, when it comes to security and other programs, make sure nothing is scanning or installing in the background because this will also reduce system performance, making Warzone run really bad. So that is all the setting changes in Windows. We now need to launch Call of Duty Warzone and there are a few settings that I want to go through in the game with you. Okay, so once you have booted up Warzone, the first thing you need to do is click on Options. You now need to click on Graphics. And straight away you can see on the right hand side that my VRAM usage for Warzone is actually really bad. The maximum bar is here, this white line. You want this bar to be behind this white line. So my Warzone at the moment is not optimised at all. And if I was to jump into game, I would probably be lucky to see a decent frame per second. So the first setting that we want to change is the display mode. As you can see, I currently have my set to full screen borderless. So it is a bit of an argument. Some people say full screen borderless works much better than full screen. And some say the opposite. So this is going to be a test and trial. So the first thing you want to do is set it to full screen borderless or if you are already using full screen borderless, change it to full screen. The next thing we want to change is the render resolution. Mine is currently set to 100. You can actually dial this down to 90. You will not see hardly any difference. To be honest, it's really hard to tell the difference between 90 and 100 on the render resolution. And I don't know if you noticed, but the fee round did actually go down slightly when I put that number down. If I change it up, you can see the fee RAM bar going up. If I go back down to 90, you can see it going down. So go ahead and change the render resolution to 90. This will really help boost that FPS in game. The next thing we want to do is ensure fee sync is set to disabled. And you also want to go on to advanced under frame rate. And you can just keep all this to maximum. We can just put the bar all the way up. That's absolutely fine. We now want to scroll down even more. And you want to turn off NVIDIA highlights. And also NVIDIA reflex low latency. Now this is actually a difficult one as well. Because a lot of people say having it enabled does actually help boost performance. Some people say it can actually decrease the performance in game. So this is going to be a bit of a test as well. So go ahead and set it to disabled if you have it enabled and see if that does boost your FPS. If it doesn't, then you can go ahead and try turning it to enabled plus boost. But to be honest, I have always had it on enabled and I have found my game runs a lot smoother and better on enabled. Once you change those settings, we now want to scroll down even more. And you now want to have stream quality on normal. Obviously you could change this to low and that will help with the performance and FPS in game. But also at the same time, we want to try and keep a bit of detail in the game. We don't want the game to look bad. So this option can really depend on what sort of graphics card you have. I'm going to keep mine on normal for now for that option because my system runs fine on that setting. 
but when it comes to texture resolution you can actually tone this down to normal as well there's not much of a difference in that option to be honest and particle quality you can turn that one down to low as well if we scroll down even more you want to turn off bullet impact and spray as you don't need to see bullet impacts and sprays as you can see in the image on the right hand side it's nothing special but if you do want to see those effects then obviously keep in mind it will have an impact on your FPS. If we scroll down slightly more we have cash spot shadows and cash sun shadows you want to make sure these two options are enabled and if we scroll down more you then have DirectX Ray Tracing. You want to turn this off as it really will have an effect on your FPS. And also I just missed that one shadow map resolution. You can turn this one down to about normal as well. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have anti-aliasing. We can go ahead and turn this down to SMAA1X. You shouldn't notice too much of a difference in Warzone as it's quite a massive map. You will notice it in closer combat situations, say on walls and buildings, as it just basically sharpens the edges and stuff on images, so they don't look so jagged. So it really does depend if you want the game to look pretty or you want that FPS increase. You could always turn it up a little bit if you want, but as you see, the VRAM just went up again on the bar. The next thing you want to do is turn off depth of field. And if we scroll down a bit more, you have world motion blur. I always have that on disabled. And weapon motion blur, you can turn that on to disabled. And once you have gone through all those settings, you now need to go apply settings and go apply. So, your bar should now be below the white line. As you can see, mine is still really high, but that's because I have currently got it in 4K on the resolution. That will have a massive impact on the frames per second. If you are using a really high resolution, then I do recommend you try and turn it down to 1920 by 1080. To do this, all we need to do is go ahead and click on Advanced. And you need to change it from full screen borderless to full screen. And as you can see, it's now 1920 by 1080. And Warzone has now gone below the white line. If I change it to that setting. That will have a massive increase in performance for the game. And really help my frames. Also, once you have finished changing all the settings. You then need to scroll down and click on Restart Shaders Installation. And then click Restart. And this will delete all the shaders cache. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.